first of all, hi guys, how's hi. it going? It's going, uh, let me think, it's going well with me, Simon? Yeah, pretty good. Ah, positive. Okay, uh, before we talk about the new record, uh, I'd like to go back just uh, for a short moment. Mm -hmm. uh, you started as Parva. We did. Um, released one record, 22. Yep. Mad, we didn't, it never got released. Oh, it released. never was no. officially released? No, they, they made it. It got pulped. They, uh, they put it in a machine and uh, broke it down, and now it's, uh, it softens children's fall in playgrounds. <laughs> and at that point, um, because uh, things weren't working out with the record label, mm -hmm. um, was there ever a point that, that the end would be there? That, that would be the end of it? Or? I think we've proved by coming back uh, time and again that we won't let it. Yeah. I don't think we won't let it be over. We can't, I don't think we'd ever want to do anything else. So we, it kind of, it's really good to have a graph that does that because mm -hmm. the highs, highs are more enjoyable when there's been lows. I think it's good that I never really thought about the fact that it's very similar to sort of what happened a couple of years ago in that we got told that it was some sort of technicality, like the record label didn't exist anymore, but whatever happened, we were not signed anymore. Right. And we were away somewhere on tour, and for like about an hour, it was all a bit depressing about what we were going to do. And then the answer was, well, we're just going to get another record deal, and we're going to carry on, and we're going to make it work. Mm -hmm. And actually, interestingly enough, that's sort of what happened in 2012, mm -hmm. when Nick was like, I don't really want to do it anymore, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. The rest of us were a bit like, oh, okay, well, I don't know if I want to finish, what should we do? It was like about a little bit, a little tiny bit of time before we went like, oh, we'll just make it work. When Nick uh, did leave, did it come as a surprise? Well, the very first time he mentioned it, it was a surprise, but we, uh, and sort of knew about it and was sort of dealing with it with like, him and with us and everything for a little while before he sort of announced it. So when he announced it, it wasn't a surprise because we knew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I he don't, I don't first think... said it, what do you think? Well, I think for a while you knew, we knew that he wasn't entirely happy. Yeah. I mean, it, it, in fact, when we made the fourth record, The Future is Medieval, I think even that, I don't think he wanted to make another record. But then... It was almost like I had to come up with a way of making it interesting for to get him interested in making another record. So that was this is the first time I've said it, but that was almost the catalyst for having the idea of a way to release it in order to get him excited about making a record. And I can remember going and telling him the idea and then within an hour we were on Brick Lane shopping for clothes we'd wear in the videos. <laughs> so I was like, yes, he's excited about making another record again. So even before making the fourth record, you could tell his heart wasn't as in it as it was at the beginning. But, you know, he's like, he, I think he likes starting new things. I think that's his, that's his addiction. He loves starting things, Nick. Was it then a struggle to, to make the previous record? Was it a struggle? Uh, we had a lot of tracks to make for the idea to work. We, had to rec we recorded some, like, 25 of them. Um, was it a struggle? Not really, it wasn't no. not a struggle. It was, it was relatively easy, really, the actual music part. But it was, a it was a weird process. It was a bit of a weird time in our band, which we don't really want to talk about, but it's a little bit weird. Things, some weird things going on. And, uh, I think that, yeah, it was fine, but it was just a bit, it wasn't like this time. This time we sort of were together as a band and we were all sort of going in the same direction and we all wanted to make a brilliant record and we had ideas, lots of ideas for songs floating around and yeah, the album was a bit more fragmented. Yeah. Well, what, what um, sensation or feeling were you left with then when Nick uh, did leave and you had to write this album uh, by yourself? Or well, was, album? I mean, it was really exciting for us because, you know, we'd, we'd never done it, just the four of us before. And um, I think we thrive and we enjoy it. I don't think you'd say that at the time, but I think we enjoy that feeling of jeopardy. And we, it's when we're at our best, when we feel like we're trying to fight our way out of something. And that's what it felt like. The first week we went to rehearse, just the four of us, sharing drum kit duties, was it was really exciting. It wouldn't have been exciting if we came away with nothing. It would have been miserable. But we I came it, away with some good ideas. I think everyone likes a challenge, or most, a lot of people like a challenge. We, it was a massive challenge for us to uh, make this record, a br make another brilliant record. It's a big challenge, I think, when it's your fifth record mm -hmm. and you've lost someone that's key 
So uh, it was a big challenge, but I think, as Ricky said, then we sort of, we love a challenge, and it's like when we're at our best, when we're sort of fighting, backs against the wall, so the employment sort of came from us fighting, I think, from the power of disappointment and all sorts of other things. Yeah, I remember at the time when we were at the first record, because we'd been in Parva and uh, hadn't worked out, I remember Nick saying, it's almost as if we have to be twice as good in order to just be good. And I think we felt like that about making this record. We had to, you know, because coming from that position of jeopardy, you have to really, you can't just come back with something that's good. You have to come back with something that's excellent. Well, th this feeling of, of maybe pressure or, or uh, as you say, jeopardy, mm -hmm. um, going back to the, the first record, I remember you saying in an interview recently that, that the band had become quite uh, complacent or, or in a sense lazy. Uh, I think I, I wouldn't have said that about anyone else even if I thought it. I said it about myself, definitely. But yeah, I, you don't realise when, you don't realise that you, you know, you've achieved your ambitions and you've, you haven't got any new ones. And uh, yeah, we'd achieved so much and it takes us a long time to get there. When you get there, we kind of like relaxed a bit because it was a relief. But I tell, I'm telling these kids, I'm on a TV show at the moment and I'm telling all these kids that getting a record deal is the easy bit. And you know, once you've got that, that's when it becomes hard. So you've never made it. No one's ever made it, you know? You've, there's always some, something else to do. Um, yeah, and when it's going really well, it's hard work because you've got to be a lot of places and you've got to play a lot of gigs and you've got to, people want more songs from you. So don't complain when the work's hard because something's going right. 